It's Monday, July 12th, 2010. I'm Andy Waits in the News Bunker with a review of today's front pages. First, the New York Times. Spain wins the World Cup and finally the Vuvuzelas fall silent. End of census and for many, end of a job. Back in April, Washington was crowing about the great employment numbers, but they were just temps hired for the census. Now that 225,000 of them are out of work, I wonder how they'll spend that. Governors voice grave concerns on immigration. See, Democrats aren't so concerned about the legalities. It's the political consequences they fear. Distrust slows U.S. training of Pakistanis. Will they use the tactics to fight the Taliban or us? A few blocks, four years, 52,000 police stops. It's a tactic authorities call stop, question, frisk. Maybe helping stem the tide of crime or not. But is it police harassment? A question of California gubernatorial candidate Meg Whitman's million-dollar investment in the company of a political consultant. Now the LA Times. Kings of the soccer world. And proof that the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plane. Auto safety legislation scaled back. They're setting more realistic goals. Maybe we should all wear helmets, huh? Barefoot bandit runs out of luck in Bahamas. He's stolen planes, groceries, and showers over two years. Now, I'm no expert in body language, but look at this guy. The words hangdog come to mind in this picture. Texting tests China's character. You know, when you're making out those elaborate characters, it's hard to spell R-O-F-L. The LA Times thinks Canada is the economic model the United States should be looking toward. And one way BP is cleaning up the Gulf is by burning off the oil. It's like a bonfire on the water. Let's look at the nation's capital and the Washington Post. Climate debate unmoved by oil spill. We just don't connect an oil rig accident with being forced to ride a bicycle. World Cup. Yeah, we heard. It's not like you won the Super Bowl or anything. Karzai wants to take more than a quarter of Taliban names off the terrorist list. It's a bid to, quote, advance political reconciliation. Changing schools look to Gates. The Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation may well be shaping the future of American education through gigantic grants to school districts. In Kentucky, a lot of fat people. The obesity rate in America is 24%. In Manchester and Clay Counties, Kentucky, it's 52%. Let's see if there's trouble in paradise. Kauai, Hawaii, the Garden Island. The big story? New law protects access to beaches. Hey, I'm for that. Naval exercises could be confusing the melon-headed whale. I kid you not, it's the melon-headed whale. Hawaii-based F-22s send message to Asia Pacific. The message? Don't jack with us. And first time Connie Shine at Queen Liliuo Kalani Kaiki Hula competition. There, I said it. And that's the front page review for Monday, July 12, 2010. In the News Bunker, I'm Andy Waits.